Some critics say it's too soon. Others say the plan isn't quite ready yet. Regardless, Tacoma moving forward with in-person learning for kindergartners and from some of these students, it's their first time ever in a classroom. And just the excitement of their face to see their, their children experience school like it should be experienced was pretty rewarding, pretty exciting. It may be the middle of winter, but for Vince Blauser, the principal of Grant Elementary School, it might as well be fall. When I woke up this morning, it's like, it's like, it feels like the first day of school. Under new relaxed COVID-19 guidelines, starting Tuesday, kindergartners across 35 elementary schools moved to in-person learning in the Tacoma School District. Five-year-old Grayson Bentley is one of those students. And I think you like it a little bit better than being on the computer all day, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. not a fan. <laughs> Now, students don't have to attend in person. Classrooms limited to just 15. Parents and guardians dropping off must fill out a health survey before anyone is cleared to enter the building. You know, I think it's a little stressful for everybody, but um, this little guy was ready, and I think, you know, the staff and everybody is doing everything that they can to, you know, make sure everybody's safe and healthy. The same goes for teachers. Blauser says most are looking forward to the opportunity to return though it's not a requirement at this point. But today, the focus was on day one. Young students who, for the most part, have never known what a normal school year looks like. And to watch the parents come in and, and transition to in-person learning, even though it's just two days a week, it feels like we're kind of getting back to some sense of normalcy, some sense of, of uh, in-person you know, connection with kids in, in academics. For now, kindergartners will meet in person just two days a week. If all goes well, though, that could move to four days a week by early February. In Tacoma, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.